Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and this is my brother-in-law, Mike. And you probably, if you've been following the channel, recently seen we did a trip uh, through the Midwest, going to a bunch of thrift stores and flea markets, and you probably saw we found this pretty amazing find, this 1977 Star Wars A New Hope, there's some reflection, New Hope movie pro promo poster, and we thought it was worth $7,000. Turns out it may not be. Let's talk about why. Again, we found this poster in this little old flea market. You can see the video in the eye above. Um, and we were pretty excited. Mike, you were pretty excited. Very excited. Um, pretty excited to find it. Um, and so we looked through a bunch of uh, different reasons why it would be authentic. And we're going to talk about those right now. We're going to talk about what would have made it authentic. Yeah. All right, Mike, so what were the things that you were looking for in this uh, image that would have told you that it was authentic. All right, this type of poster is called a uh, Style C poster, and the Style C poster had two different uh, runs. They did an international run, which went to movie theaters across the world and to military bases across the world, and then they had a US run, and they both used this same image, and it's called Style C. Um, the international one is what this one is modeled after. The only difference between this and the U.S. run was the text was a lot smaller and it had the the MPAA rating of PG gotcha. on it. So that was the difference between those. Uh, so they only made a thousand of the international run style C posters, which is what this looks like. And the but there were a bunch of bootlegs made of it um, in uh, the years since. So you it, you were looking to see whether or not it was, was looking, original or a bootleg from yeah. around the same time. Yes, I was looking to see, and there are a couple easy ways to identify whether or not it was a bootleg. Uh, just working from the top of the poster down. So the first way is on Han Solo's uh, blaster shot on the bootlegs. They got rid of a lot of the. It's called the. It's called the gassing or the gas cloud. They got rid of a lot of it and cleaned it up. It's hard to see on the video here, but the gas cloud's pretty prominent around the whole uh, laser beam. So that was the first thing. The second thing is um, the explosion happening behind the X-Wings on the original is very pronounced. It's very bright and vivid. Whereas on the uh, bootlegs, they, it was faded, had a little bit more of like pinkish red colors in instead of the dark orange that's in there. Uh, the biggest um, giveaways for, for the bootlegs of these were, were they're called the hairs. And so in the bootlegs, they had a hair, like looks like a drawing mistake is what it looked like, or a copying mistake up by Princess Leia's shoulder, between her shoulder and Luke's, there was like a hair, tiny, tiny hair, uh, and then down at R2-D2's, uh, one of his his legs, there was a, a pretty, the you know, bootleg would have those hairs in those places. This doesn't have those hairs, has a pretty bright explosion, the gas cloud's prominent, um, and the other thing, which was the only thing I felt conflicted about was the boot, uh, the, the skin color of the characters, in the original is a nice like solid tan brown and in the bootlegs it's orangey and these ones look they, a little they, bit more orange. they look a little bit orangey uh, it, but i when i when i i've seen the bootlegs and they're they're like really yeah, orange are, well, it's like not quite as orange it's as like that. donald trump orange yeah, yeah, man yeah, yeah. like th and these ones aren't quite that bad those are pretty much what giveaway bootleg versus real so with the exception of the faces it passed the sniff test for me i'm looking at it all, everything around here looks the looks accurate. It's got the trademark copyright yeah. down here, the 77 20th Century Fox. And, it, and it's got, it looks like it has age. Yes, it looks old. Yeah, it looks old, it doesn't, it, it wasn't, we were not, like we would have, we would have sniffed it out whether it was like a cheap Amazon made in China print. And, and I did like look at the margins because on some of the, on a lot of the new ones they make, like the ones out of China, they've got like, uh, they've got some printing along the sides here. And I, that doesn't have it. Uh, you can't. You know, so, so. so yeah, we were pretty confident that this was not a, a bootleg, right? It, it was not a modern reproduction. Um, so now I'll tell the story of wh how we discovered that we, it was not an original. Um, down here on the bottom of the frame um, is the rest of the poster, and as I was looking at it, just because we knew that there needed to be some more authentication. Um, I found this inscription, and it's from Portal 
Portal Publications, um, licensed and authorized by Lucasfilm, so it was legit. But that turns out that that was a run that was done in 1992, mm -hmm. not 1977. Um, to much to our disappointment and very dismay, sad. very sad. Um, so that's why it does show age, correct? Yes. That's one way it shows age. I mean, it's nearly 30 years old. So it's, yes, only 15 years younger than the yeah, original would have been. been. So it's definitely older. Um, was not, obviously, 1977. Yeah. So uh, this has a value in good condition between $75 and $150, not the five to $7,000, unfortunately. Um, and that was the main giveaway. There also is uh, not a, I remember there was, there's supposed to be a style C down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's supposed to say style supposed C. Say style, and we thought it was just underneath the frame. margin frame, yeah. the frame of the margin, uh, mar the, fr the margin, margin frame. frame. Yeah. yeah, and but it wasn't. Uh, so that was another thing that you can't really examine when it's on sale and you start pulling apart their frame. They may not yeah. Hey, let me just open this in the middle of the store. Yeah, they don't really like that. Plus, you don't want to be like, hey, this thing's worth $7,000. I'm going to buy it for 50 And, you know, so anyway. Um, so the moral of the story is, is that when you find things like this, because you will find them, and you get all excited, you get overly optimistic because we all want to find treasure. Yep. Um, you, you always have to, you know, remember that the chances of finding something like what we thought we found, or we suspected we might have found, are very 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 low and if you know that going into it and you know you you know when he spent the money that it took to buy this he thought you know okay it's worth a shot it was worth um, it. it looks like it's passing all these tests um, because it was a much better high quality reprint than the modern ones are because it was licensed yeah. and licensed yeah. it wasn't just something that people copied in China and mass produced so it's gonna be a gamble you'll probably you're gonna have a hard time finding something Pretty one in a lifetime like this very often. That's it why might it's be called one, one in a lifetime. lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Once in a lifetime. And so, don't be surprised if you find something you think is authentic and it turns out to not be authentic. Just know that yeah. going in. Um, do your dil diligence. I mean, we did some research. We spent some time. We weren't going to go ahead and list this for seven grand and then, you know, ship it to someone and find out that it was fake. So do your research. There's a lot of research on the internet. Uh, maybe this video helps you out. Maybe you'll find something just like this, and maybe you'll find the actual uh, 1977 original poster. But we did not. We're sad, but we learned, and that is worth infinite amounts of money. Well, maybe not. Maybe seven thousand dollars would have been fine too. But all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.